Hey everyone, it's Ellen here and I wanted to kind of switch things up today and do a little bit of a review of my Baby Taylor guitar. So on one of my tutorial videos recently, I came across a comment from Joanna and she was asking what I thought about my Baby Taylor because she was thinking about getting one. So I thought maybe you guys might want to know that too, so that's this video. So I have had this Baby Taylor for about 10 years now. I got it in 2010, it is now 2020. So as you can see, it's really sturdy, it's kept up with me all 10 years and it's still very beautiful and playable. So um, yeah, I basically just wanted to go through some pros and cons of this guitar that I've noticed over the years and uh, just give you guys my thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and start with pros. You guys know that I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, so of course the first pro I want to bring up is that it's aesthetically really beautiful. I got the Taylor Swift version of the Baby Taylor, so it has her uh, signature there in the middle and it's decorated around the sound hole, so obviously I find it very visually appealing and that makes me motivated to pick it up to play it more often. So um, that's the first pro that I wanted to bring up. And then the second pro is obviously one that you guys have pointed out in some of my other tutorials. This is a smaller guitar than usual. So this is not a full size guitar, it's a baby tailor, which means it's a three quarter size guitar. So that just means it's a little bit smaller than your average full size guitar. Now what that means is that there's actually a lot of pros that come with it for me personally because I have a little bit smaller hands than some people. And so for me, a baby tailor is really great size wise for me to play because everything kind of matches my dimensions a little bit better. So obviously with it being a little bit smaller, there are some pros that I wanted to bring up. One of which is the fretboard here is actually a little bit shorter than a full size guitar. So what that means is that each of these frets are just slightly closer together than you would find in a full size guitar. And that helps me because my fingers are a little bit smaller and I have trouble with things like bar chords. So having these frets closer together really makes it a lot easier for me to play. So if you are someone who's new to guitar, maybe you want to start your kids on guitar or you just have a smaller stature I would say the three-quarter size was a really great option for me and I've really loved it over the years because it's smaller it's also lighter so that means you know not only is it just lighter the body it's easier to carry and things like that that means it's also really easy to take with you places so if you're someone who travels a lot and wants to play on the road things like that I would suggest this guitar as well because I you guys know I've moved around a lot over the years and this guitar has gone with me all over the place and it's just really easy to carry around. It comes with its own little travel case and everything, so that's another pro that comes with this. Okay, so now you can see I've pulled out my Martin here, which is a full-size guitar, and my Baby Taylor, which is the three-quarter size. So if I put them side to side, you can kind of see the size difference between them. I will also tell you that this one is a lot heavier because I'm a very weak person and I can definitely tell the difference between these two. But um, if you can see, I'll try to line up the headstocks here, but you can see the Baby Taylor has a shorter fretboard than the Martin and so that kind of shows you how it's the frets are slightly closer together so like I said that can be easier to play for some people harder to play for other people and yeah that's basically it I just wanted to show you guys the size comparison let me know if you want me to do a review of my Martin as well because I can do that in a separate video so this doesn't really have to do with the fact that it's a three-quarter size but it is actually just the way that this guitar is made you can see the action I don't know if you can see it on camera there but um, the action which is how far away the strings are from the fretboard is actually quite minimal it's very uh, close to the fretboard so what that means is you don't have to press down as hard to hold your fingers down you know things like bar chords are a little bit easier it's actually really comparable to like an electric guitar so a lot of full-size acoustic guitars you might see the actions a little higher which means the strings are further from the neck which means you have to have more muscle to kind of you know press them down and hold them down for long periods of time that's what will cause those little divots in your fingers and that's what causes the pain and everything you're gonna get that with any guitar if you're a beginner but it definitely is lightened with this guitar because the action is lower. Moving on to the headstock, the uh, tuning pegs are actually really good. They keep their tune very well. So you'll notice with some of the cheaper guitars or guitars that aren't made as well, um, you can tune it all you want, but then the second you start playing or if you leave it for a really long time, it'll just lose its tune really quickly because the pegs kind of start unwinding a little. I don't have a problem with that with my baby Taylor. I've left it for weeks at a time without playing it and I pick it back up and it's basically still in tune. So the tuning pegs 
tags are gray on it. And now what you guys all care about is the sound of the guitar. So um, I actually really love the way that this sounds. You might think because it's smaller and travel size that it would be really quiet or something, but I actually think it's very loud for its size. It's actually louder than my Martin, which is a full-size guitar, and I'll show that to you guys a little bit later in the video, but it's very loud for its size. The tone is more of a brighter tone, so for me, I really like that because I play a lot of country music, and you know, that usually goes with like more of a brighter tone. So for me and what I like to do, it really does fit my style of music playing. And yeah, so overall, I really love this guitar, as you guys probably have noticed, because I've used it in pretty much every single video since the beginning of time. Um, so actually, now I wanted to move on to some cons for the Baby Taylor. Basically, I don't really have any cons, but I could see how some of my pros could be your cons. So let me explain. Like I said, I'm a little bit smaller, have smaller hands, so I prefer this smaller size guitar, the three-quarter size. But if you're a bigger person and you like the full-size body of a full-size guitar, and you know that means that the frets will be a little bit wider for you and things like that, you may want to go with the full size because it'll be easier for you to play, similarly to how this is easier for me to play. A full-size guitar has a little bit of a bigger body, so for me that means reaching around, you know, when I'm strumming, and it's just a little bit more uncomfortable. So for me, I've really gotten used to this kind of smaller frame, and you know, it's just easier for me to play. So again, it's a con for if you, you know, prefer that big, you know, body size. Um, another thing that I found to be a pro that you might find to be a con is that the brighter tone, you know, that really depends on your musical style and what it is that you're trying to play. So like I said, for me with my, you know, country style music, pop music, I think the bright tone really helps with a lot of the songs that I play. But if you're looking for, you know, something more full bodied and more, you know, deep and rich, things like that, you might want to go with a different guitar because this one is kind of just loud and bright. So let me jump into a demo now between this and I'll also compare it to my Martin. That way you guys can kind of hear the difference between my Baby Taylor, which is a three-quarter size, and my Martin, which is the full size. All right, so let's jump into a demo of this Baby Taylor. Keep in mind that I'm using phosphor bronze strings that are 11 through 52, so they're more on the thin side. Um, I'm also using a thin pick, so let's go ahead and get into this demo. And just for comparison, I also have my Martin here. So remember, this is that full size that I showed you a second ago, just so you can compare the sound of it. So uh, here's the comparison demo here. Now keep in mind with this Martin that I am using the exact same strings and the same pick and everything. So the difference that you're hearing in volume and in tone and things like that, that's coming from the guitar. 
All right, so that was my review of my baby Taylor. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if you were hoping that I would mention something that I didn't. Um, just definitely leave me any questions you have about it in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond to you. This is my first review. I wasn't really sure what it is that you guys wanted to know about it, but overall, if you're asking for my opinion about whether or not you should get the baby Taylor, I would say I have no complaints about it. I've loved it for the past 10 years and so, take that for you know what it's worth to you um, but you know any any person starting guitar my first piece of advice is always just to go to a guitar shop if you can and pick up as many guitars as you can and play through them and just find one that really sits well with you that like fits with you that's what I always do so if you're looking for my opinion great guitar I love the baby Taylor and um, yeah, let me know if you want to see reviews of my other guitars, including my Martin, and I will do that for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.